Hi guys, uh, my name is Mohamed Kashif and I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, my YouTube channel name is Cash Track. Uh, today our uh, um, lecture is uh, regarding how to install an uh, electronic device software or any old software which is not compatible with the new windows like windows 10 windows 7 or even windows xp some of the windows uh, power softwares are only compatible on windows 98 some are compatible on windows xp and some are compatible on windows 8 7 or 10 so idea came up with my mind is that when i was installing window uh, electronic workbench software on windows 7 and I downloaded the software but it was not compatible with the new version of windows because it is 64 bit or because the software is not compatible at all so how are we gonna solve this issue is uh, we have to use a vmware software and now i will gonna teach you how you can do it uh, for power engineers uh, it uh, we need to get more introduction or more learning to it and it's always a helpful for us so first of all we i will show you how you can download the software from internet you have to go to google and type in electronic workbench software the website i recommend here is an tesla institute website and by clicking on it you will see the web page and showing electronic workbench and here at the end you have to write your name country and email address and they will send you the link in your email address and uh, by using this link you can download the software and when you try to install it in your windows 10 it will not simply not work so how we can uh, use it so the easiest thing is here is you have to install vmware player which is a virtual which is an environment in which you can run virtual windows or many other applications so uh this i we, for example you can install dixie which is not supporting windows 10 here you can run in it or all other so softwares which are not compatible with the new windows okay now you here you can just click it on vmware player here you have to click the windows is now open now you have to click download once you click the download the option will be shown to you either you have to have a vmware 15.1.0 station 64 bit operating system or other option is vmware workstation for linux so i'm using this i will go for this option the size is 124 mbs which is not much you have to download it once you have finished your downloading so the software will be appear in your system you can you can see here can simply go to downloads show folder so here your vmware player is available you have just have to install it after your installation is finished it will gonna look like something like this uh, you have to okay here you have two options you can install uh, operating system and it, it's a basically a, a, a windows uh, is a virtual environment you can install as many systems as you want like uh, linux uh, kali linux um, microsoft windows 7 98 3.1 everything will work here so first option um, this uh, for this version you can see it's a non-commercial use only so you do not need to buy it it's just for your your personal use but if you want to upgrade it to pro you have to click on workstation pro and you have to pay and you can go for it so one option is you have to select new machine so either you can insert the dvd in it or you can select an image and you can select an image and you can just install it it will install like any other operating system other option is open a virtual window uh, after finishing one one once you finish installation the virtual machine will be saved as a soft file and you can open it immediately no need for installation of software in it 
uh, just think that you can install Dixie or many software as many software in a virtual machine and you can you're gonna use it uh, for future uh, okay I will open my machine here Windows XP professional open it in okay now my window is open now so you can edit virtual machine settings uh, here you can see uh, the configuration of your system and uh, I will you it can it has a processor virtual processor hard disk allocated is 40 GB uh, not applicable this is not available at the present so maybe you can configure it on later stage or it's available in a pro so USB is available here okay so here uh, recommended memory is 512 MB but when I use this my memory to start system the system was slower so I increase it up to 2 GB here you can see and after that system was fine I will press ok in order to start the system just you have to press play virtual machine now your machine will start uh, is starting okay Here the machine is completely started. I will go for a full screen option here. Or okay, here you can see you can first of all system is running like a normal system. You will not feel it is a virtual machine. Here you can see I have copied electronic workbench uh, five point one two. Here it's in a free software and. Uh, you can just run setup and the, uh, the workbench will be installed uh, how you can copy from your existing system is also very easy you just have to uh, select uh, a file or a folder click copy and then you can just go back to your virtual machine you can here for example on desktop you can paste it so here is your software i will delete it now in order to run the software you have just have to go and click electronic workbench uh, the software will open and it's it's also really nice smooth looking uh, i have already uh, copied the circuit here uh, this is a voltage source this is a resistor this is an emitter by default it is set on dc so i will select on ac press ok and then when you're gonna run it so you will see the milliamps in it uh, I will give a detail introduction or we will discuss how you can have on a different type of circuits power circuits like a grounded circuit ungrounded circuit solidly ground through neutral what is a function and what is uh, what is a neutral voltage displacement so these things can easily be understood uh, using this also like a vector diagram of the transformer we can uh, draw here dy11 dy1 many transformer circuits here so this is just an introduction you can you can do a lot of things in it thank you very much please uh, subscribe to my channel cash tech and we will be giving you nice videos thank you So I will now go back and close the